We have cloud cover on the move here and a few spotty showers already working their way across the northern portions of the GTA just outside of Vaughn right now heading in uh, toward the Richmond Hill area. You can see that band of showers as it is just to the west of Markham. Another little cell that has popped up uh, almost working its way through Bradford here at this point. It's going to continue to sink down toward the southeast and that is going to be the plan here as we go throughout the rest of the evening. There is some much colder air across the north. You can actually see the cold front, basically the transition from the yellow colors there between Ottawa and Sudbury into those darker blues and purples. That's the air that's on the move. That's going to send daytime highs tomorrow into the teens. That's all we're going to see for daytime highs. So some spotty showers are possible here overnight tonight. You can see on the Futurecast model, the wave that's rolling through now is going to be into the east end of the GTA and clearing out of that by about 930. Another wave works its way through closer to 4 o'clock in the morning, but a lot of it breaks up over the GTA. Rain showers possible through the west end and then redeveloping and moving into the Niagara region for 5 a.m. It'll be a clear start to the day tomorrow. We'll see a couple of clouds building as we head throughout the afternoon. All in all, a pretty nice day as far as the sky condition is concerned. Not so much in the temperature department because overnight we dipped down to about 15 degrees into the afternoon. We only add about three more degrees into the afternoon hours and evening hours. We're going to talk about some fairly cool weather that is going to be settling in. And then we'll warm up once we get back into the weekend. But the next couple of days are going to be fairly cool. Saturday's still going to be a little on the cool side as well. And then those temperatures will start to climb for us. On your seven day outlook, it looks like this. 18, 19, 20. We're up to 24 degrees on Sunday. Monday, we'll keep an eye on some showers late into the day to cap off Labor Day with a high of 25 degrees, risk of thunderstorms as well, and then those lingering showers into Tuesday and those teens making a comeback by next Wednesday. That's a check on your forecast.